part two of our Texas to Tennessee and back road trip, 950 miles from home. So it is the end of our stay here outside of Pigeon Forge and Sevierville, Tennessee. Uh, we are kind of a little ways off to the west of both towns and kind of right in between them north to south. Uh, up here in these nice hills that are not quite to the Smoky Mountains, but they're right over there. We had um, a great visit with some folks and uh, we had to make a couple of errand uh, trips to uh, some uh, local airports to pick some people up. And one of those was going uh, over the Smokies into North Carolina, where we stopped at this really nice charging station in Waynesville, North Carolina, that uh, they had an awning, they had uh, pavement, they had chairs out for us, parking lot of a really nice convenience store. And uh, it looked like they had the infrastructure coming in to turn that into a six station stop. Only one of them was up and running. A second one had been installed, but it wasn't powered up. And then there's conduits already for four more. But we stopped at that one on the way to that airport, and we stopped at it again on the way back, and we were able to get ourselves a nice charge. And then yesterday took people back to the airport, this time in Knoxville, and there found an EV Go charger named Amy Lynn or Ameline, I don't know what it was called. Um, but since I have EV Go credits from Chevrolet, that charge didn't cost me anything. Had a really uh, nice rainstorm come through last night, and so everything's kind of wet right now. Um, but we'll get back out onto the road here shortly. Um, we're going to be, th the plan is to try to skip the first charging stop in Knoxville and have our first charging stop be in Cookville uh, at that Sam's Club, uh, be in Nashville for lunch, and then continue all the way down the road for the rest of our charging stops until we get to Hope, Arkansas tonight, and that's where our hotel is for our overnight stay. Uh, I'll get Rachel on here as soon as we get uh, on the car and have her add some of her thoughts to the start of this video as we go. The last day in the mountains of Tennessee, we had a wonderful weekend. It was an amazing trip. And we're just headed down the mountain now to start on our two day journey home. The drive went extremely well due in large part to Luke's meticulous planning and execution of that plan. And I really got to relax and enjoy the time with my friends and I didn't have to focus on the trip at all. And the car did brilliantly. It really loves these mountain roads. It's great and it was very comfortable. And even though there was, you know, a little anxiety about making sure the chargers were gonna work and that you know, everything was going to work out right. It was really no problem. And um, I think I'm going to stop rambling now. It's been great. Knoxville now we could stop here in a couple of miles to charge at that last Electrify America that we stopped at on the way here but that Electrify America was in a very crowded parking lot between a Walmart and a Sam's Club here in Knoxville Tennessee and it was only had four charging stations and of those four charging stations only two of them were working so the plan is to skip Knoxville and go to the Sam's Club in Cookville and charge at their Electrify America, which was eight chargers, all of them worked, and not a crowded parking lot. Here's the thing. Now we're back on the interstate. Uh, we've got 164 miles of projected range and 96 miles to go, which right now gives us 68 miles of buffer. But a couple of miles ago, that was 70 miles of buffer. So our buffer is going to go down. I'll just keep an eye on the buffer and our percentage. The My Chevrolet app, says that we'll have 11% when we get there, which is, uh, which is enough. Uh, but it also said 18% when we left the cabin. So this could be interesting.
we made it to Cookville. Luckily, we had some nice downhill stuff uh, in the last 15 miles. Our buffer got down as low as 36, which is fine. But now we've got 47 miles of projected range and we're uh, less than a half a mile from the charger, so. Look at this regen. It was up to 50 for a second. Yeah, it had some off-throttle regen of about 56 uh, kilowatts. That's pretty cool. Um, coming down that hill uh, with the, when I would di disengage the cruise control. So the plan is to charge here to get enough to get us to the charger in Nashville. And the charger in Nashville is right next to a restaurant that wasn't open when we went through it before, but will be open now. And so that's where we'll have lunches in Nashville. It's really warm and sunny. It's nice. <laughs> Okay, so I plugged in like it said, and I already have the app open. Select the charger on well, charger number four. Swipe and initiating charging on the screen and on my phone. And there's a clunk. Oh no, it no have me logged in. Oh, this session is complimentary, courtesy of Electrify America. It did it again. So it's going to give us a free charge. So cool. <laughs> Which is cool. So let's see how fast we're going. So it says we're here at 18% is the state of charge that we got here. We're up to uh, getting 50 kilowatts of current, which is below peak, but um, close to our peak. So that's good an hour until we get to 80%, but we don't need to get to 80%. We need to get until we have about 143 miles of range, which is when we have 40, 47 now. So almost 100 miles worth of range. 59%, which is a little more than we needed. Uh, we probably would have been okay around 52, but we went in to go to the bathroom. Uh, so I'm going to exit out of this. And unplug, and you can read off the numbers there. Numbers. Total energy delivered, 26.1394 kilowatts. Charging time, 30 minutes. Charging cost, zero plus uh, at, at 16 cents per minute. So, yeah. It says, but it's, uh, so it would have been $4.85. 532 after tax. But they gave it to us for free. Gave it to us for free, which is even better yeah so I'll thank you for it. the free power electrify thank you, america EA. our next stop is nashville tennessee that's 84 miles up the road we got plenty of power to get there the chargers there were in good shape when we were through there last time and we're going to stop and have lunch let's do it to it Stuart. Church. So this is our Ice Blue Chevy Bolt, and that's someone else's Ice Blue Chevy Bolt. <laughs> Ours here. is an EV, theirs is an EUV, so related. And now I've got to get started on this one. Okay, going with our system from before. We have the shiny handle mm -hmm. and the not shiny handle. So I'm going to take the shiny handle. That's usually the one that works. And plug it in. So far, it's always been the one that works. All right. There we go. We're in. And. Huh. 
There we are. Willowbrook Commons. This is us. It's initiating. We're on Charger 2. And again, yeah, that was it. And it, 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 yes, this handle is not working, but this one is. And the phone says initiating, and the screen says initiating. And this session is complimentary courtesy of Electrify America. So this is going to be another free charge. Nice. I love, I like the free charge. The downside is I don't get information on the app while we're away from the car based on what we're doing. So we're at 25% when we got here. Um, and that building right there is Guacamaya's Mexican restaurant, and that's where we're going to go have lunch. How you doing? I'm all right. Still not feeling awesome. The trip has been great. I'm just a little under the weather. Okay. That's but it's a beautiful decent day. Decent weather to be under. We enjoyed our lunch, and we did get to see the uh, car's cousin over there. True that. We're at 76%. We should probably unplug. I'm gonna return out of that and stop. Get the plug back in. Oh, hey, that plug just fell right off. And again, it's another free charge. Oh, and I didn't, I've got it on camera. I'll have to look at the footage and find out exactly what that said. I don't really know. I'm gonna walk back here real quick and just see, cause this is open. We can actually see what the charger looks like, what the infrastructure looks like. Uh, usually these are behind walls and stuff. Well, we are back on the road and off to Jackson, Tennessee for the next charge. Something new just happened. We are a half a mile from our exit for the charger, and we still have 35 miles of projected range, but the car is, I noticed the battery indicator, if you can get it on camera, it changed from green to orange. Uh, and then according to the My Chevrolet app, it says we have 15% of the battery. Now when we plug in here in a couple of minutes, um, we'll see what Electrify America says we have. But this is now officially the lowest I've had this car because I've never had the um, guessometer and the, and the battery management system indicator change color from green. So, hey, there's that. Connecting the vehicle. We're on charger number four. Initiating charging on the machine. Processing payments. We're initiating charging on the phone. And again, welcome driver. This session is complimentary, courtesy of Electrify America. So that is know? three for three on free charges. That's really great. Hey, well, now i got to figure out how much we need, and then uh, we'll get back on the road. All right, so we have been at this uh, Electrify America. I'm going to hit the return button and bring the camera around. We've been here for 49 minutes. For some reason, we always have to charge for a long time here in Jackson. We could have unplugged it a little while ago. We didn't quite have enough miles to make it to Forest City, Arkansas with the buffer that I would like. It would have, we could have pushed it. Then we also had the thought of maybe we could just leave, since we tapered down to 33, leave and go to um, Memphis and charge there. But we know right now that this charger is not charging as that. 
that eight dollar and one cent that it says right there we know that this charger is free it told us it was going to be complimentary so decided now oh, let's just wait a few more minutes and get the charge we need to get to forest city for our dinner stop so we are unplugged i'm going to well we're, we're stopped now we're unplugged and get that back in there a lot easier to do with two hands and now we are updating and this charge the, would have been $8.88 with tax um, at the non-member rate, but it's complimentary, so there's that. I like the complimentary charges. The only downside is I'm not getting the stats on the amount of kilowatts that I added. This was 40.5917 kilowatt hours is what we added there. So I um, haven't been doing that at the other free stop, so I'll have to just check it. So now we're on the road through, uh, gonna go through Memphis, Tennessee onto Forest City, Arkansas, and we're gonna stop there and have dinner. We still have a charge stop after that in Little Rock, and then we'll roll into our hotel in Hope uh, tonight, get some sleep, and charge up in the morning while we're having our free breakfast. Back on the road we go. just missed a billboard that said Blue Oval City and Lakeland welcomes you. We are uh, just east of Lakeland, Tennessee. Um, driving into the setting sun, passing mile marker 28 on Interstate 40, which means we're probably about 20 miles outside of the city limits of Memphis. Um, and somewhere around here is where Ford is building Blue Oval City. Um, they are trying to make a big deal out of that. They had, uh, they had that as a sponsor on uh, Eric Amarola's uh, cup car in, in NASCAR a couple weeks ago. Um, the, the sponsor does, has Blue Oval City and that's where uh, they're going to move a lot of EV production down to this plant, especially the second gen Lightning and whatever the, the next um, electric truck is that they're planning on building. Jim Farley from Ford uh, has big plans for that. Anyway, we're close by where it's gonna be, but I doubt that we'll be able to see anything. There's a lot of trees around the freeway right now, and there's not, it's not like there's gonna be any kind of factory or anything for us to see. They've just broken ground on it recently. Well, there's like a wide open plane over there on the right, but... Um, They've, they've broken ground on it recently. It's gonna end up being somewhere around here, but just thought I'd point that out. City, Arkansas, once again, right at sundown, and we are going to plug into the charger, and then we're going to go get dinner. Alrighty. I'm going to go with this one because it's closer to the charge port, and in we go. Electrify America has been free all day. I don't know, but I kind of take it. It says connecting to vehicle. We're on charger number three, and I, this is the correct handle. This one, no worky. So, there we are. It'd be nice if this one was free because, you know, Arkansas is pricier. Initiating charging, initiating charging. It means it's connected in the app. It's not going to be free. 
that's my that's that that's my guess is it's not going to be free because it's initiating in the app which means it's connected to my account no welcome driver the session is complimentary courtesy of electrify america Woohoo! score yet another free charge nice continue it's kicking on let's make sure it starts we came in at 15 percent we're only getting five, six, seven. We're like level two charger rates right now. There we go. Now it's kicking up. And we're just going to get around 52, 53. Got an hour left until we're at 80%, but we don't need that much. We just need to be at about 151 miles. So that's good. It's, it's not quite peak, but it's close. It'll get up there. Okay. Let's go eat. We just finished dinner at the Old Sawmill Cafe in Forest City. How did what'd you think of the food? It was all right wasn't brilliant but it was edible it was fine and the people were mostly pretty nice so it was a that step, was nice. step up from the kfc right definitely a step up from the kfc all right but while we were gone the car went to 80 percent we had to walk to the place sit down order eat pay for it walk back and it that that whole thing took 56 minutes we left immediately after we plugged in and we just now got back so um that's how long it would have taken us to eat anyway got an 80 percent charge would have been eighteen dollars six cents because it's Arkansas and they charge by the kilowatt hour and not by the minute. Forty two point seven kilowatt hours is what we got on this charge. And this is the neat uh, boom, 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 updating zero dollars would have been twenty dollars and eleven cents, but it's zero dollars because it was free. Forty two point seven four kilowatt hours of battery we got. So that's pretty hey, nice. I don't know why they're giving us free power. I don't know why they're giving us free power either. I like the I like the free power. I like not having to pay that twenty dollars. Mm -hmm. I don't like not being able to monitor the charge from my phone. That, right. That's the only downside. But you know what? I'll take I'll it for take the free it. charge. Right, right. Um, on the road now, we're going to go to Little Rock, where we'll do a quick top off just to make sure that we have enough power to get to Hope. And then in Hope, Arkansas is where our hotel is for the night. And it's close enough to the charger that I can just charge up in the morning. Uh, let's go. You ready? Let's do it. session before it started initiating charging welcome driver session is complimentary courtesy of electrify america instead of even paying 43 cents a kilowatt hour well so i won't be able to monitor the charge but it's free that is five for five we are at 34 percent 95 minutes left until 80 percent now that the course that got better because speeds are ramping up this is our last charging stop of the night. It is the Walmart in Little Rock, Arkansas. We got here and plugged in 28 minutes ago. It is yet another free charge. All five of our charge stops tonight have been free. Um, we've been here for 28 minutes. We've had a little over 22 kilowatt hours. 
and according to the car, we have 154 miles of projected range. We have 101 miles to go until we get to our hotel in Hope, Arkansas. Now, the hotel does not have a level two charger in front of it, but it is walking distance to the Electrify America. And my plan is to check into the hotel and Rachel and I'll sleep for the night and then wake up in the morning, you know, do all your typical morning stuff like you do. And then I'll go down, load the car up and drive it over to the Electrify America, walk back to the Holiday Inn Express and have breakfast. And while we're having our breakfast, the car will be charging enough to get us to our next stop after that in Mount Pleasant, Texas. Um, today has been a long day. It's gonna be close to 700 miles today. And then that'll leave us with about 250-ish, somewhere in there miles uh, tomorrow. So it'll be a short day tomorrow. Um, so yeah, 100 miles more to 101 more miles to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna stop this charge. So I'm at 68% state of charge, 69% state of charge. We're getting 35 kilowatts. So I'm gonna press stop. Going to unplug and put the charger back in its holster. Didn't get the charge to charge all the way closed. There we go. We're updating, and once again, what would have been $10.74 is free. 23.605 kilowatts. Five charges today, completely free, courtesy of Electrify America. If this keeps up for tomorrow, it's gonna be really, really astounding. Uh, so, back onto the road. Arkansas. Our hotel is right over there. That's our Holiday Inn Express. It was a great stay. And I'm here now at charge number four. We were at 15%. 15% uh, last night when we cut in this morning. Oh, and this charger is unavailable, so I'm going to have to move. Um, which means I'm probably going to have to go right where I was before and actually charge in on the 350 and it says on there that it's going to be a complimentary session again. So let's uh, just see what happens All right, so charge attempt take two. This is literally The first time we've even had to move to another charger and this is because I parked at one that said it wasn't available If it wasn't for the glare of the Sun, I probably would have seen that or if Rachel had been here I would have seen it as well But she's over there having breakfast and I'm gonna go have breakfast with her and it said complimentary session at the start I am plugged in, or am I? I don't think I have it plugged in all the way. I don't. There we go, that's a good connection. Okay. Connecting to vehicle. And I'm not gonna get my phone out and mess with it because it said complimentary session. Or maybe I should try anyway. Initiating charge. It's kicking on. Welcome driver, this session is complimentary courtesy of Electrify America. Final receipt display re will reflect actual savings. Continue. Thank you for choosing Electrify America. Now while this is ramping up, okay, so we are at 14%. We came in at 15% last night, and last night we rolled into town a little bit after 11 o'clock. We'd been driving for 15 hours because we crossed the time zone going from the eastern to the central. Uh, 
so even though it backed up an hour it was you know we still drove that hour so yeah it would have been a little over 15 hours yesterday I was really tired when I rolled into town um, so we just parked checked into the hotel and uh, went to sleep uh, woke up and we're getting ready to have breakfast and the plan was I wanted to just say Rachel you stay at the hotel and get yourself breakfast I'll drive the car over and I'll walk because it's it's just that far and I would bring the camera and demonstrate how how uh, how short the walk is but I don't want to have to store the camera with me while I'm uh, having breakfast so uh, we are on the road today we've got a two more charge stops after this the car should be ready to go by the time we're done with breakfast although we're not getting super great speed we're only getting we're only getting about 34 kilowatts so this will become the first uh charging stop where we're not getting peak speed when we should be but uh peak speed on this car should be around it's been around 53 it can go as high as 54 but right now we're only getting 30 33 34. I'm wondering if I should move it. Yeah. I'll just leave it here. We'll be fine. Breakfast is done. Uh, this uh, Holiday Inn Express, actually, I mean, it's, it's a normal Holiday Inn Express breakfast, but it was good and fresh this time, which was, which was super cool. Um, we left our extra pillow up in the room and didn't realize it until we got all the way back here to the charger. Went back, got it. Uh, the housekeeping was in the room and they just handed it to us as we were in the door. Very friendly people too. Uh, as I left this charger, I noticed it wasn't doing more than 34 kilowatts. It is, we're now at 70% and it's still pulling 31 kilowatts. So at least we didn't lose much in the tapering. This charge would be $14.19. We need about 143 miles of range and we're over that. We're at 150, so we're gonna go. I'm gonna stop the charge unplug the charge handle put the charge handle back in its holster close up my door and hit uh, well there we go and this would have been fifteen dollars and fifty four cents but once again it is free we picked up thirty three point seven four kilowatts and we got another four because uh, i tried unplugging it and plugging it back in to see if it had speeded up but as it turns out we didn't really even need to do that we got enough charge in the amount of time it took us to eat breakfast so on the road now to mount pleasant texas we'll be back in texas in about 33 miles and when we cross the border and go through texarkana we're going to charge in Mount Pleasant, and this time we're going to hit a charging station we haven't ever been to because we're not leaving home with 100%, so we can't skip it, but we are going to need to stop in Roy City, Texas as well, and that's probably where we'll have lunch. And from there, we're about an hour and a half from being able to pick up our dog, and from there, about a half hour to being home and done with the trip. Back on the road. Gonna be a complimentary session again. Nice. I can tell now because it's got that little thing on the bottom that says complimentary session. Sweet. All right. Let us go get charging started. Okay. I'm coming out, so we better get this charging started. Okay. I'm gonna use handle number one, and hopefully that's okay. older style, older design. Uh, it's not the signets that we have because this, this just has a holster instead of a place where the plug goes. Can't barely, huh. 
it's not noticing that I've even plugged in. Oh, well, maybe it's this plug doesn't work. Well, let me try this handle. Is this handle going to make it? There we go. Still says plug in first. Huh. This is, this is the plug we used before, right? Plug four? I don't remember, maybe. Let's uh. look at the others. This is a 350. Uh. This is a 350. You've got the Chatamo and the 150 right. here. Let's see, ready? I mean, I Price know you it. don't really want to take up a Chatamo, but... Well, I mean, this charger's, this charger might be bricked, and that's nothing's happening anywhere. It's not reacting to anything. Yeah, I think we're gonna have to move to another charger. Do you yeah. want to take up a wanna... 350, the one or the 150 over there next to the Chatamo? Okay, this one's reacting. Okay. Um. Okay. Right. Exit. Okay. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna move over to the 350 because mm -hmm. there's another 350 here if somebody wants it. Right. And but if a leaf shows up, no, no, but no way anybody else could use the Chatamo. Mm. I got it. You got it. I'm gonna check and see what the app says, you which check one's available. Share. Yeah. yeah. There we are. Jefferson Park this is the name of the shopping center apparently. Two and three shows available. Four shows is available. This charger should be working according to the app, but well, you it's can, obviously not working. You can add to that and let them know that we have some experience. I will see. I'm just going to back out and go in there. All right, do it. All right, and there we go. And now we're connecting to vehicle. That's what that's supposed to look like. Initiating. Cooling is started. Because that's the motor. We can hear it. That's the sound. Yeah, you can hear the sound of the fan right there. And there's a beep. The car just beeped, so the car is now charging. All right. So give it a, and welcome driver, complimentary session, Electrify America, continue. Once yeah, these again, are the older units. Thank you, Arkansas. Every, uh, well, no, this is Texas. Oh, thank you, Texas. Putting in my phone number, there we go. Submit, so it'll give me updates by text. Thank you for choosing Electrify America. Yeah, we're in Texas. All the stops in Tennessee, all the charge stops in Arkansas, and our first charge stop back in Texas is free. Nice. 28% when we got here, we're getting 52, uh, 52 kilowatts, so we're at our peak charging rate. Um, we should be ready to go in no time, so. Um, you want to go do your breaky stuff? Yep, let's do it. And I feel guilty about plugging into a 350 with a bolt, but nobody else here. And there's another 350 here. So if a fast charging car shows up, they can plug into this one and it seems to be working. I can hit the close button and it reacts as well. And this 150 in Chatamo, if I hit pricing, is it gonna say that there's anything? Yeah, so it, this one works out. This one's acting well and everything, so that's good. Now the next charge is supposed to be a long one, but we're supposed to also, you know, we're gonna eat while we're there, so it's okay if it's long. We're gonna go in and we're gonna have food, but I'm gonna let this go a little bit more. Um, my, a better route planner has us getting in with like 10%, um, and I wanna get in with a little bit more than that, especially since this charger's giving us good speed. Let's see at what speed it's doing. 
still at 54 kilowatts like that's our peak so um once it gets to 50 percent, it's going to start throttling down so i'm thinking maybe we'll stay here till we get to 60 percent, and then we'll get on the road uh to our next charger and i'm not going to record much there because we're going to have dinner got 148 miles of projected range way more than we need we are at updating finish and i'm going to try to read this so i can see oh and it didn't give me the thing uh, well hopefully the camera caught it but i didn't see it with my eyes all i know is it was yet another free charge this whole return trip the, every charge has been free which is awesome because that means we're paying nothing for fuel um, and we've got maybe about 150 miles to go um, with one more charge stop so check in with you at the final charge back on the road Thank you, Texas. Every charge. Thank you, EA. Every single charge on the return trip has been free. That's awesome. We are plugged in. And it's doing a thing. It's connecting. Car just beeped. Means it's connected and the car is taking power and just waiting for the screen to say what's up. Welcome driver, complimentary session, continue. Yeah, I don't know why. And look, I mean, I get you, those of you that just have a problem with electric vehicles, but when was the last time somebody gave you free gas? Yeah. Really? Has that ever happened to anybody? I'm never gonna get free gas at a gas station. Yeah, I it mean, the best you can do is if you get a loyalty card, you might get a little, like a few cents off per gallon. So that means this return trip of 950 miles will have cost nothing. That's fuel. amazing. And it only cost us $39 going the other way. Yeah. Now there were two free stops and those two free stops that we got on the way to Tennessee would have been maybe another 15 bucks. So say, Let's just round it to fifty-five dollars. How nine hundred and fifty miles on fifty-five bucks? In reality, we got nineteen hundred miles on thirty-nine dollars. We drove around for three hundred miles or so when we were in Sevierville, Tennessee, going into North Carolina and back, and a couple of trips into Knoxville and back, and we had to charge there, and probably spent maybe twenty bucks on charging at those chargers. So. Fuel-wise, this whole trip is going to come in under $60 for what's probably going to be about 2,300 miles. What can do that? All right, uh, we're at 50%, no, 50 minutes. We're getting 52 kilowatts. We're getting our peak off of this charger, which is supposed to be throttled down to 50 anyway. We're at 31% battery. This is our last charge stop. Let's go get us some lunch. Lunch! It is now time for us to go. We uh, have overcharged a little bit. We're at 78%. Been here for 46 minutes, but we had lunch. We picked up 33 kilowatts. Gonna stop, and this is eight for eight on free charges coming back from Tennessee. Stop. Thank you. Whoops, okay, now you can get the thing. It's updating. And how much does it say that would have been? It says uh, it says it's still working on yeah, it. Yeah, it doesn't know yet. It's okay. updating and 
total energy delivered 34.03 kilowatt hours. We charged for 46 minutes. It would have been 16 cents per minute. Oh, it doesn't uh, doesn't have the price. It doesn't. It's a network have the issue. Amount. Price cannot be figured. But so yeah. finish. Yeah. And then we met this nice couple here. Rachel, go ahead and here. Let me get you on camera, and you can oh, sit hi. Down, say hi. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't fall. Yeah. So uh, we actually have an exchange names. I'm Rachel. This is Luke. I'm Jean. Jean and Chris. And Chris. nice to meet you, Jean and Chris. And, and this is their beautiful new ID4 that you just picked up. How long ago? Uh, one the week. Twenty-first. Yeah. And they're actually here charging for the very first time at an EA charger. And of course, like we all did, they got a little confused when it didn't want to take their, you know, personal information to to log them into the app and figured out it's because it's free. The machines are saying we want to give you the power. Yeah. So and they, <laughs> they will take, take it. it. <laughs> and then I hear you say you got you've got a trip coming up soon. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to be driving down to uh, Belton, uh, Texas, uh, next Saturday morning. So Excellent. It'll be the first long trip. With Enjoy the trip and enjoy the car. Mm -hmm. Thank you. We hope so. <laughs> and uh, we're ready to get back on the road. Let's go. So we're going home. All right. It was nice meeting <laughs> you guys. You.